What's up everybody? This is Oliver and I with Big Bass Dreams, super amateur recreational biologist and wannabe fisherman. Excited here to share with you a new series we're going to be doing through this YouTube platform with this underworld theme. This underwater perspective is something that most of us don't really get to experience. Where I come from, Back in Southern California, a lot of our lakes are no water contact. So we don't even have the option of getting in the water to really get a different perspective of what's really going on down there underneath the surface of the water. Over the last few years, I've been filming and trying to document these new environments and trying to gain a better understanding of these micro ecosystems I'm pretty much trying to piece the puzzle on and for myself I found tremendous value in just sitting here both on and off the water and really observing the various species in their in their natural element really we kind of create visualizations of what we think is going on down there in our own minds or at least I do watching the actual prey species and in this case we're talking about gizzard chat here has really helped me piece the puzzle on lakes across the country when I'm targeting these bigger fish information is an asset knowledge is power right that's that's an old adage that's absolutely true in the way that i like to approach fishing the more you know the more empowered you are as an angler in my opinion you, we can guess and pretend to know what we think is going on down there but to actually spend the time to sit here and watch the subtle nuances of the way these fish are interacting with each other, with the predators, and even with the boat. Pretty telling. And it's had a, a profound influence, I think in a positive way, on my fishing results. These other types of video that we do, the music videos, the cast to catch stuff, even the dialogue, like all that is cool. There's no shortage of content on the internet, on YouTube. Tutorial videos, there's hype videos, there's motivational videos, there's how to this, how to that. What we don't really see enough of, in our opinion, is more of this perspective. Actually immersing ourselves into the fish's world to gain a better perspective. How to ultimately trick these fish into biting so we can fulfill our dreams, right, of catching the fish of a lifetime. We hope you guys find value in this series. We could sit here for hours and just watch these things. There's so much that we've been able to learn from just an observation of this important prey species that dominates the mid-south and the south big fish eat big baits from personal experience we've seen them in that 17 18 19 inch class size and we've seen big bass feed on them and that's allowed us to better formulate a plan of attack when selecting our lures, selecting areas to fish in, even down to the retrieve. Pay attention to all the subtleties going on here. The way they change pace, the way they change direction, what column of the water they're actually occupying. What do they look like when they're swimming in a group? What do they look like when they're solitary? All of that is another piece of the puzzle. That's what makes bass fishing and in particular trophy bass fishing that much cooler than everything else in our opinion right it's an ever-changing giant puzzle and the more that we can observe and the more that we can absorb the better equipped we'll be when we hit the water we're going to do a real fishing challenge here for you guys and we're going to challenge ourselves to capture and provide a higher level of content in turn we're going to challenge you as a viewer to actually put some focus and emphasis on some of the fundamentals of what we do. And that includes studying everything you can about the bass themselves, the prey species, 
water conditions, weather conditions. We're going to really push for viewers to expect more from the content they're watching. And we're going to challenge you to take this information and assimilate it for yourselves. We're confident we can all be better anglers because of it. Sitting down and actually dedicating time to learn and continue to learn as we are with you as we were watching this video is a message that seems to be overlooked. We're really hoping you guys embrace the critical thinking aspect of fishing, the decision making, and taking all the different pieces of information to come to these decisions is what ultimately determines continued success at all levels of fishing. And that applies whether we're talking about tournament bass fishing here or trophy bass fishing, even just going out and having fun. We can totally have a good time without catching a fish. That's not a big deal, but let's be honest, it's always more fun when you find that success. So this is a real push for a movement, especially for the youth to really invest your time and do some real research and embrace the cognitive side of what we do. So that results in more big fish catches. That results in more awesome photos. That results in more awesome videos that we all get to share and get hyped up on and continue to inspire and motivate each other. We've been on a push for the last five years to show people that don't take part in fishing that what we do is dope, right? It's cool. It's awesome. It's not that stereotypical, boring, leisurely activity. It's freaking awesome. We're at a point now where we feel like we have to do the same with embracing the intelligent side of what we're all trying to accomplish so we can capture those dope video moments so we can put together a sweet hype video and, and a badass fishing video for everybody to enjoy. But none of that happens without really understanding as much as we can about the fundamentals. And even after digesting all this information, you should always be hungry for more. You should always want to continue to, to learn. Nobody can figure all this out. That's what makes it awesome. Anyway, sorry for rambling on. Really, really hoping you guys find a lot of value. We've put in a ton of work and hours into capturing this footage, putting it together in a way that we hope continues to help everybody. And if you guys really like this content, don't be shy, show some love. Subscribe, hit like, leave comments. Let's hear some feedback. We've got a lot of awesome stuff to share with you guys, so stay tuned. We're working hard to keep the content flowing on this side. If you guys like this Gizzard Shed video, check out the links at the end. We've got a famous dude with an accent narrating, even better than Sir David Attenborough. So check it out.